we'll say it. Steve Gorman from the Black Crows, Bill Berry from R.E.M. Lots and lots of people to say that Perry Baggs was a big influence on, on that as drummers. And, uh, but he was a fantastic, he could, you know, he could pick up that chair and make it sound musical, you know. He, he could take anything and make it musical. He could play just about any instrument there was. Great piano, great uh, trumpet, he, he played bass, guitar, drums. He was a great harmony singer. High harmony, yes sir. Right. He did those high harmonies better than anybody I've ever worked with in my life. And to this day, to this day, I can, you know, in Nashville, I can work with the best harmony singers in the world. But I always miss Perry singing, always, every single time. He had a, a gift wow. for, he didn't try to blend with me. He, he was like a, a second lead singer, yeah. almost like an Everly Brothers singer. Yeah. And he would, yeah. I'm not a, a technically good singer, but he would make me sound better by doing that. You'd think that would compete, but it, it didn't. It, it somehow worked and made, it just made the melody line even stronger. He was such a great harmony singer. I always felt like he would have been, you know, a music row and made a bunch of money on music row singing harmonies, you know, on country records. But he could never get up before four o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't do it. God. He wrote White Lies and that we knew it, man. It was like, whoa, this is something special. <laughs> this is a really good song. I wrote with a high school buddy of his. And, uh, Taught it to us. He came in with the whole band thing worked out. He, he told Warner and Jeff what to play, told me how to sing. Um, and for a while, when I started doing these solos, my solo run, you know, in the late 90s, I, I didn't do a White Lies because it was just so hard to make it sound even remotely in the ballpark of what the, of what the Scorchers did with it, you know. Um, but Perry, he, he sat down with me once and kind of taught me through how to do it and how to get a, a different attitude about it and to, and to play in, in my limited guitar playing abilities, just kind of play a guitar part that would support the, that great vocal, and that great melody one. So, I love singing it now. The chorus is absolutely brilliant. Same old lies that I've heard before 